Hello everybody, what's going on? It's the Lemmy here, back on the SMP for another episode of Minecraft Survival Season number 4 with the Lemon King. And we're picking up a little bit different of a place than where we left off from last time. So let me explain what happened. I decided to go through and finish the rest of the cave and collect everything else that was in there. Unfortunately, there was no diamond, so I didn't bother starting to record to get the diamond achievement. There was no diamond. I can prove this to you by the fact that I do not have acquired diamonds. So, there are no diamonds, so I have none of those. But other things did happen. I went out adventuring and took about half an hour to 45 minutes to try to find a good spot to build our house. And I think I found the spot. So I traveled over here. There's a village right here. There's also two other villages in the area that I want to go and hit up. And that'll help us with our farms. Saving some villagers that we have good trades. And there was some that had decent trades for emeralds and other stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Most of the villagers in this village kind of died to a zombie infestation maybe caused by me being here and yeah. I try not to take the blame but. but the one thing I did otherwise want to say is if you didn't see it already uh notch apples cannot be spawned or cannot be made in the game anymore so I went and found in the desert a temple and there's a very rare chance you can find a notch apple in the desert pyramid and I have one also found a Bane of Arthropods 3 book and other golden apples. So we're going to save that for a very special episode so that we can uh, get the achievement for the overpowered eat a notch apple. So it's a lot harder to get now. I didn't realize that until I was told. Because I went to a temple and they were saying like, yeah, you can't make notch apples anymore. And it's very rare to find diamonds and emerald in it and I found an emerald inside too they're like yeah it's rare to find diamonds and emeralds inside the thing golden apples are a lot more common and stuff like that so we got this little guy but that's what we ended up with coming out of our adventure and there's a lot of iron in here like uh, obviously there's a lot of iron and stuff so this is what we came out with. so we're gonna make a travel over to the over to the spot where I think we want to build our next house and we'll go from there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't blow up. Last time I had a creeper explode me, I was talking to a villager and then this happened over here. And yeah. Creepers. So let's do a little backtracking for you guys so you know what I did. So, spawns out that way. Spawn this map is about negative 200, negative 200. So you can see, in the Z direction, I'm out over a thousand blocks, about 1,200 blocks. So we're gonna have to make a long path back home. But the key that I wanted to go with that is now I can, if I build a railroad that far, I can get the travel 1,000 blocks in any one direction by railroad, and then that achievement is done. So that was what I was thinking. So we'll build a pathway that's three wide back to the spawn area that travels at least a thousand blocks. And then we can build the pathway into spawn itself. Now I was thinking about how I want to do this. Do I want to do it above ground or do I want to do it underground? See the thing with above ground is I would need to make a fence line to go along with it. So, well, actually, mobs wouldn't step on it, but mobs, I think, can interfere with my minecart and knock me out of the minecart by shooting me and stuff. So I don't want that to happen, so I think underground might be the best solution to get back to spawn. So as we travel over here, we can see this is the desert village that I found. The second village, this one has more stuff in it. It has farms and things so this is the second village that I found I have some farm for that I'll be taking stuff out of there was one good enchanter here that had it sold like you give them 19 coal and you get an emblem for it so that really wasn't bad of a deal by any means especially if you have like a blue or I think this one's not bad 12 leather for emerald not bad now I don't like the four dot for emerald for leather pants it's like so you're saying if I give you 12 
leather, you'll give me one diamond. Right. So to get enough emeralds to buy leather pants, you need 48 leather. When I can make it with seven. So, just thinking about that, it's like, um, okay game, thanks for your logic. But there's one good guy in there, so can't kill him off. But the leather for emerald actually doesn't sound that bad, I didn't take notice. I found, back in the other village, I found one inch, one guy that sells two emerald, or sells two emerald for leather pants. Then there was the, another guy that sold three emerald for leather pants. And then I come here, and then there's four emerald leather pants. So it's like, okay. Alright, so what do I want? I want to try to find this place that I found again. Not exactly sure where it was, that's why I'm going to back up here. I should have saved the coordinates, but it didn't. But it was a nice beach. It was the first ocean I think I found in the game. We were searching forever to find. They said they couldn't find an ocean. I think I found the first one. Now, the area that I want to build in, I think, if I remember correctly, is kind of like a bay. It's not really much of an ocean where I want to build, but it's more bay-like. So, I mean, it leads to the ocean. There's like a little waterway you go out. I said, I think here's the spot. Somewhere in here I wanted to build. Oh, okay. Here's my boat. Now, what I want to do is I'm not, I don't want to build here. I mean, this is like, it's not like the type of terrain that I wanted to build in. Plus, it's in the bay. I want a little bit easier access for me to like sail out and sail back towards spawn. So I mean, this area is nice. It's a nice bay. I might consider building here at some point, but this is not really the place I want to build my house. So let's go out towards where I want to build my house, which I think, if I remember correctly, this this way. So maybe you do something with this bay. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet, but we remember that it's here, but this is the way I wanted to go to get to my my spot I wanted to build. So let's sail out this way. So this video is going to be more just like trying to move out, get a little hut set up so that we can do it. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up was I just got a Skype message from Kilobyte, and by the time this is up, this is not going to be relevant, but back on March 4th, I got a Skype message from Kilobyte saying that you should come over to spawn and show off spawns to the people so they know that he's not building in creative. So I can assure you he's not building in creative. Everything is done legit on the server. There's the next village that we're going to be working with. He's oh, Andrew's on, but that's the next village that I didn't really get into yet, but this is where I want my house to be. Up over in here. Oop, oh crash. Like right in here. That's what I was thinking. This is the spot. I like how the bones don't want flying away either. It's stay in the water. So I want to move my stuff into the village over here. And then you have a nice little bay, river access here. I wonder if that river goes back over there. Not sure, we'll have to figure that out. But I'll move all my stuff into this village and take over this as my own. Of course, we're going to go into the... see if there's Someone here already? Seeds, okay. So let's start putting some of our inventory in here. I don't necessarily want to put up some valuable resources in case something does happen, but let's just throw all this in here, put that in there, um, while we're at it, just put this crap in here. I didn't trust out these, these villages. Oh, there's no door in here. Um, I 
to just make it over, but for now, let's protect our, our own abode. So, now we're going to go back and try to grab whatever we have left in that chest in our inventory and bring it back with us. So, this is what we're going to be doing for this video, is transporting our kids over here. So spawn, I guess, would be about 600 blocks this way, and then 1,000 blocks plus that way, 1,000, 1,400 blocks that way, to the screenshot, so, yeah, it's a long way, but it was the only real place to build, so, I took advantage of what I see here, and I like what I see. So I'm going to build here, and this will be my house. Now they were looking for an ocean too because Zaxatron or Andrew wants to build a mob farm, like a very extensive mob farm that drops, I don't remember how many thousands of stuff an hour, but it would give us a ton of loot and stuff, so that's what he wants to do. But he needs to go out in the middle of the ocean and do it because it's going to be very laggy, so I don't... I mean, I found the ocean, but I have to make sure he builds it far enough away from my house so that I'm not getting terrible lag at my house. So you can build it, just don't make my house a lag fest. So. One thing I like is, I like this bay. This bay is nice. We might do something here. I'm not very sure. I might actually, now that I think about it, give it to Nick. Nick build over in here, so he could have his he could have his own area to build in and have his own land, but we're still close enough sailing distance that we're together. So that's what I want. I, I don't want us to like I don't want to be in the same house like last time. We were in the same house and he was doing his thing and I was doing my thing. He had an underground farm going. While I was doing everything automated. So now he can do his own thing at his own house while we're still within reach so if we need to do something or be together we can very very easily so that is what I was going with with that so we'll see and then he has villages over here he can work with and then if he wants to we can just build a path over to my house we can build a connector like a river connector he can sail over to my house and then he can access spawn through my railroad I hear, hear shots. Shots have been fired. Shots fired. So let's finish up catering over. I mean, that's crazy how fast these videos go. I mean, it's unbelievably crazy. Like, I can't believe I'm at 13 minutes in this video. It's like holy crap. Oh god, we have skellies and spiders trying to get out of range. enough food to make a dash I get to my house and hopefully there's no mobs outside my house so I can actually sleep and get the night over actually I can't sleep because these two are on oh boy I might have to travel during the night which I mean, isn't terrible but you just gotta keep running there's no you don't want to stop stop running you're basically asking for death even with my full iron it's still risky so we'll see Two inventory spaces. I need these. Everything I picked up from there. Okay. The chest is not like a dire need. Like honestly. So what we'll do is we'll drop that. And then we'll grab I think that's the tent the crafting table. And then what else can I like sacrifice? That's 
it. That's it for this house. Let's get a move on back over to our other house or place that we want to be building. I don't want to really fight that Enderman. I'm scared. I'm, I'm honestly scared of that Enderman. This is going to be an issue. Just don't blow me up. Let's get past the skeleton without getting shot. Go around the mountain this way. This is a quicker route. Oh, so you could probably walk to the place. Creeper. You could walk all the way around. Uh, still a long way to go. Didn't write down the cords again, which probably could have. It was like 400. It was like 400 and 1200. Might be close. Yeah, let's just go straight this way and see what happens. Hopefully, this takes us to where we need to go. And then we'd be on our merry way. So I don't know what this river does, if this river connects even at all, but well, we can do that in the morning, check it out, see where it builds, see what we can do with that. Who cool if we can find a mob spawner. Actually, this isn't even connected, it's just its own little thing, it probably connect this to the ocean. Guys are out in the open at night. Are you guys crazy? No, I thought. Not that crazy. Right, so now we can buy purchases. We can place two there. Still, there's a stuff in there. We have some food products. We can probably start that as well. All right, so I think that's where I'm going to end off this episode. We're, con we're getting kind of close to that 20 minute mark, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below if you have any ideas for the house or anything else in general because next video we're going to be starting the house. And I this video probably won't be up by the time I start actually building the house. But by the time that happens, if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below and I will get them and then I can edit the house if I need to. Slap that like button if you haven't already. It'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. Also, greatly appreciated. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, oh, oh.